were ambushed by another diver 50 feet below the surface. ABC's Neil Karlinski has that story for us. Renee Umberger has taken her camera underwater to document the fishing of exotic sea life countless times, but never in a million years did she imagine something like this. <laughs> An alleged underwater attack, diver on diver, off the coast of Kona, Hawaii. When I got to the surface, the first thing I said was, you know, oh my God, someone just tried to kill me. One of the fishermen she was photographing seen here making a beeline for her and ripping the regulator, which allows her to breathe, right out of her mouth. I think sharks are far less dangerous uh, than this fellow. At 50 feet underwater, she says she could have easily drowned. <laughs> Someone with less experience um, surely could be dead. They could have panicked and not been able to find, you know, their mouthpiece. Her friend Robert Wintner was also there and believes the diver who allegedly attacked was trying to hide what he was doing. In his right hand is a scoop net full of baby yellow tangs. And that's what we were there to document. And that's what he didn't want us to see. Hamburger believes Hawaii's reef fishermen are robbing a vital resource, scooping up exotic fish and selling them to aquariums and pet stores. With a permit, the fishing is legal. Those eyes are going to be, you know, burned into my memory forever, that, that look that he was giving me. <laughs> this morning, authorities are studying the video and investigating. No word on whether charges will be filed in this rare underwater assault. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.